How many of you are wasting time on everything that you are trying to accomplish in your life, your goals, your dreams, your aspirations, getting that new job, going towards that new career, whatever it is, right? You're wasting time and time is so precious and so valuable. But how many of you, if you feel, if you be completely honest with yourself, all right? If you know that you are wasting time and not doing what you are supposed to do, this video is for you, all right? So make sure you guys check in and I'm doing something a little bit different this time on this video. So stay tuned through the entire video, all right? But first, hit it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Kevin Brown, also known as Express Words with a Z, and welcome back to Speak It, See It, Feel It, where you can speak your life into existence, you can see it becoming your reality, and you can feel as if it is already yours. So happy Thursday, guys. Welcome back to another video. I hope you all are having a wonderful, a wonderful, and a wonderful great day today. And for those of you that are new to this channel, all right, my name is Kevin. I'm a life coach, and we talk all things spirituality, personal growth, and development. We talk about God, and we talk about helping you become the greatest version of you, all right? So in this video today, really quickly, all right, we're going to talk about wasting time because a lot of people spend so much time procrastinating, right? You spend so much time wasting time, right? Procrastinating. And uh, and then you realize that so much time has gone by and you can't get that back, guys. This is why this, this is an important video. This is a motivational message for you. If you know that you are wasting time and not moving towards what it is that you want, what are you waiting for, right? What are you waiting for? Some of you are waiting to get the right money or the right resources that's gonna pop up instead of making things happen for yourself right now, right here while you can, all right? So you need to stop waiting, all right? So we're gonna go into this a little bit further, but really quickly, um, I wanna share something with you guys, all right? So be sure, all right, don't forget to get a copy of my book, Poetry Is Me. Um, you can pick it up on amazon.com, barnesandnoble.com, booksamillion.com, um, and many other online uh, retailers as well. Now, really quick, yesterday, my book was accepted in one of the local libraries out here in my in my hometown, um, and it can be checked out between 23 different libraries once it gets fully processed and cataloged. So, super dope and exciting. Um, I'm just I'm so happy, right? I'm so happy and grateful uh, for these opportunities that are coming up. So, guys, don't forget to pick up a copy of Poetry's Me. You will not be disappointed. Okay. Now, this is what I wanted to do a little bit different in this video. It's going to be a quick video in this video is I want to read one of my pieces of art from you, for you guys, okay? And it's gonna relate to what we're talking about right now in this video, okay? And I want you guys to get a sense of the writing and get a feeling behind the words and visualize what I'm saying in your mind, okay? So that you can get a better understanding of what might happen if you don't manage your time and things won't, if you, if you don't manage your time correctly and if you're continuing to waste time on things that don't matter, that don't, that I can't even talk right now. <laughs> if you're wasting time on the things that no longer serve you and it doesn't matter, right? So, all right, we're gonna dive into this and then let's talk about it a little bit further, guys, okay? So the name of this poem is called Faded Time, okay? Faded Time. Awaiting the cloak of day with many sleepless nights, Fog thick like smoke leaves his vision trying to fight. Staring at a clock with one minute seems like five. Pacing back and forth, his thought process is denied. Weary from trying to think about his life and where he stands, a cold dinner plate attracts the flies and not this man. He keeps the lights dim and lets the breeze in the room. Bored and confused, counting bristles on a broom. Five minutes pass, equal one minute that's gone by. He sits to huff and puff, the occasional roll of eyes. He's stuck in a child's body and playing games runs his mind. The clock ticks backwards, reversing the hands of time. Is he stuck in a realm where each minute seems long? <clears throat> because his state of self-consciousness says something's wrong. Is he trapped in a child's body as those hands reverse back? The cure to being young has created his first match. The wrinkles on his hands, right? The wrinkles on his hands, they disappear so they're now smooth. 
His smile is coming back, regaining a child's playful mood. He jumps up and down. He finally can and he should. He looks back on his life because he had no childhood. His alarm goes off. It's time for school. It's almost nine. Waking up from a dream gave him a taste of faded time. All right. So what does that poem mean to you? Okay. Fun fact, guys. I wrote that poem years ago, probably when I was in, I think I wrote that probably eh, maybe like 2010, 2011, 2009, something around there. But what does that mean to you? Okay. As you can see the man in this, in this story, right? He was bored. He's over here counting bristles on a broom. His plate of foods getting cold and attracting flies and not him because he wasted so much time and he wasted all his time on things that he was trying to accomplish in his life. And now he is starting to realize that his vision is just thick like smoke and he can't see through anything. So what is it that you are trying to accomplish in your life? What is it that you are trying to go after? Okay. I know you guys are, if you're working a regular nine to five job right now, but you have a passion for something else, or you have a greater desire to create something else. Okay. This is my thing to you. All right. This is what I want to say to you. Okay. If you're coming home from work, um, relax, of course, give yourself a chance to relax and chill. Okay. But also if you're coming home from work and you're not actually putting any time and effort into what it is that you're trying to manifest or the life that you are trying to live, it's never gonna happen, right? It's never gonna happen. You're gonna have a taste of faded time, right? Because once you get to that end point where you're like, dang, now I'm feeling a little bit older. My bones is a little bit weaker. I can't do that thing that I wanted to do five years ago. I can't do that no more because I'm weaker. Now you've had a taste of faded time, right? So this is a huge moment for you to create a shift in your life. If you are scared, take a, you got to take a step out on faith. Fear only means false evidence appearing real. Okay. So if you are scared about the outcome, if you are scared of taking a step out on faith, because you don't know if people are going to laugh at you, you don't know if it's going to be, if you're going to fail guys, everybody fails. Everybody fails. You have to, you have to fail in life in order to succeed. Okay. Some of the, the greatest inventors failed before their invention became the greatest invention of all time. All right. So whatever it is that you are trying to do, this is my motivational message to you. I want you to stop having a taste of faded time. I want you to stop attracting those flies to your cold dinner plate. And I want you to eat healthy. I want you to, I want you to fill yourself up and pour into God, pour into what it is that you're trying to manifest and go after it. Nothing can stop you when you continue to just put your foot down and say, you know what? I'm gonna go after it. I'm gonna try it. The universe will reveal its secrets to those that are dare and stingy and, and, and they just, they just want to go after their dreams and goals. It will reveal the secrets to everything that you need. You will be guided along your journey and on your path. Okay. So guys don't have a face, fa don't have a face, <laughs> don't have a taste of faded time. All right. This is your moment to take your step out on faith on whatever it is that you are trying to manifest and believe that it will manifest, believe that it is already done and that it is already yours. Okay. Go pick up a copy of this book, Poetry's Me. I know there's a lot of poems in here that don't relate to just um, manifestations and stuff like that, but there is a lot of, a lot of my work will get you going, will get you inspired, will get your mind thinking, will get those gears turning and oiled so that you can get moving again and start moving towards whatever it is that you desire, okay? I promise you, you will not be disappointed in this book. Um, all of you that have picked up a copy and have left reviews, I love you guys so much and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Um, and if you haven't left a review yet, please do so. I would, I would love to hear from you. All right. So guys, don't waste time on whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. Um, quick, quick example before I, before I, before I kind of end this video, we'll go back to my example, right? When I was working my nine to five job and I really wanted to start my, my YouTube channel, I was scared, honestly, and I, I had fear and it was because I didn't know how people were going to react. I didn't know if people were going to take me seriously. I didn't know if people were going to like me. I didn't, you know, I, and that was kind of my mindset at the time. But then I realized that I was wasting so much time contemplating on the decision of starting, right? I could have probably started my channel probably a good three or four months prior to when I started and had already had established a platform. Um, 
But the fact that I was aware that I was procrastinating and starting, I was aware and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna throw in the towel and I'm gonna just do it. I'm gonna just do it. And uh, I was like, if I fail, I fail. Then I'll try something else. But you know what? Look what happened. And um, I'm so happy that all of you are here. I'm so happy that, happy that I'm able to uh, provide some type of insight and some type of knowledge for all of you. Uh, so I love you guys and I appreciate your love and support. And I do hope that if this visit, if this video resonated with you, please be sure to give it a thumbs up for me and consider subscribing to my channel and pick up a copy as Poetry Is Me. Poetry Is Me, you will not be disappointed. You will not be disappointed. There goes your boy right there on the back. Um, and guys, happy Thursday. Happy Thursday, all right? So don't waste time. Let's get moving. Let's get going in everything that you do. If you continue to put the focus and energy into it, I promise you it's gonna manifest, all right? All right, guys, take care, and I'll see you again soon in the next video. Peace.